It's often difficult organising your tools so that you can find them. You can buy toolboxes, but the problem is that you end up with loads of toolboxes all over the place. I've tried toolboxes, I've tried bags. The problem is you start moving the tools, you move them in the van, you put them in the garage, you put them in the house, you can never find your tools. That's why I decided to build this. This is a tool cabinet. This was actually bought off eBay and I paid £100 for it a few years ago. This is a mighty fine steel cabinet and it's approximately 7 feet tall and about 800mm wide. This is a really good idea if you want to store your tools so they're all in one place. I've had to actually weld an asp onto some steel plate to make a decent size lock for the front of it. The asp, when you get it, is not big enough to fasten to this cabinet. So as an extra security measure, fasten that on and then I use a decent padlock to lock it up. So I'm just going to have a look inside now and you can have a, a look at what tools I keep in this tool cabinet. So that's what the actual cupboard looks like. You'll see that I've utilised the hanging space. I've also got tools hanging off the doors and I am adding to it all the time. It's not a finished project yet. And that's what it looks like from top to bottom. And I'll just give you a close up of each particular shelf. The top shelf is two drills that I don't use all that often. The next shelf down is the welding inverter and the welding helmet. Then we've got a shelf with hammers and chisels on. The next shelf down after that is a shelf of drill bits, all saws and blades. Then on the next shelf I have all the Milwaukee gear. So that one shelf has all my Milwaukee 12 volt gear just on the one shelf. Below that is the DeWalt 18 volt gear. And you can see that we've got a reciprocating saw, angle grinder, right angle drill, jigsaw, drill and circular saw all on the one shelf plus the charges. On the next shelf down uh, is the nail gun and the multi-purpose saw and vacuum. Below that we've got two SDS drills. On the next shelf down is some core drills. At the bottom I've got a couple of metal tool cases with some tools in. And then at the very bottom I've got a couple of bags. If I need to go on a job and I need to take my Milwaukee gear and my DeWalt gear, I can simply get a bag out from the bottom, fill it up with the tools I need and then take it straight to the job. If we take a look at one of the doors, I've made a rack there for the torque screwdrivers and extra long screwdrivers. And then I've got a selection of spanners that are on a magnetic rail. The magnetic rails aren't that good because they actually magnetise your tools, so I will be swapping these in the future for something else. Then got a plastic pipe cutter, which is just out up there with a magnet. Then got the foodie kit, that's held in position with magnets and also a riveter. And that is held in position again using magnets. On the inside there I have some adjustable spanners, some mole grips and some electrical pliers at the other side. The screwdrivers are held in place with a magnetic rail, which I do not like. I will be swapping that soon. And then above that I've made a rail using some plinth clips. And you can just pull the pliers out of the doors and then put them back in when you finish using them. At the front of each shelf I'm trying to utilise the space. I have put a bit older at the front, which is just in spring clips. So I can just pull those out as I need them and push them back. Above that I have some axe blades. So the advantage of storing all your tools like this is you know exactly where they are. You don't need to open a drawer and look in the drawer. You know immediately where all your tools are. 